All right, so now everything's saved. I go ahead and, and we can go to a different layer down here. We'll go to this layer right here. Hit 5-7 on my numpad and go into the uh, 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 top view. And we'll go ahead and hit uh, Shift A and we'll add in a plane. This plane will have a modifier of mirror on it right there. And the, uh, the mirror object, we'll hit G to move this over. The mirror object will be uh, the sphere. Any, any object that you have, it doesn't matter what the object is, just needs something to mirror over top of. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is go, go ahead and hit uh, tab to go into edit mode. We'll make sure clipping is turned on. Or else our, our vertices will not collide into each other. They'll just go straight through. We can hit O to turn O off. Uh, uh, proportion editing off. Clipping, make sure that's on. Hit G. Now our, our, our vertices will snap together, which is what we need. I'll go ahead and I'll put both of these vertices together. And we'll go ahead and select both of these outer vertices by holding down shift and right clicking them. Hit G to move them over, and I want to get this little zigzag pattern that pumpkins so famously have. We'll hit E to extrude, we'll pull that down, we'll hit E to extrude again, we'll pull it up, E to extrude again, we'll pull it down, E to extrude, we'll pull it up, and we'll scale this one down a little bit. Uh, by hitting S, scale it down, and we'll move it up a, little bit, a bit higher than the other ones to make it look like he, as if he's smiling. We'll pull this one down as well. So that looks pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and add in Shift A, we'll add in another plane. This will also be a modifier, a mirror modifier. We'll turn clipping on. We'll make sure the mirror object is the sphere. We'll hit G to move this around. And I'll go ahead and hit tab. And we'll select this vertice. We'll pull it down like that. We'll pull this one over to the side by hitting G. And we'll add in a subdiv subdivision uh, right here. We'll select both of these. Subdivide them between both of theirs. Those grab this vertice. Hit G to pull it out like that so we have a bit more depth and detail in this eyeball region. We'll hit uh, R, Z to rotate this on the Z axis to do something like that. And hit G. We'll pull it down a little bit because I want his eyes to be a little bit closer to his mouth. Scale his mouth down a little bit. We can't do that right now. We'll, we'll, we'll do that a bit later. We'll hit uh, mirror modifier. We'll apply that on our mouth. We'll, and we'll apply it on our eyes as well. We'll hit control shift alt C, which is one of the longest uh, shortcuts a blender actually has. We'll make sure that says origin to geometry. Make sure that's in the middle. Now we can scale it down something about right there. We'll move it up by hitting G, uh, Y because we're still in the top view. Um, the same thing, uh, control shift alt C origin to geometry and we'll scale this down a little bit and move it down uh, we'll scale it up a little bit actually we'll do something like that yeah that's pretty good all right so now i want to join both of these together by holding down shift right clicking both of the objects hitting join over here on the left hand side and once again control shift alt c origin to geometry and now we have that in the center of our uh, of our thing of our face so tab to go into edit mode we'll double tap a to select everything let e Z to move our, uh, to, to, to extrude our face, something about right there, make it pretty big so we can work with it. And I'll go ahead and hit M to move this back to our main layer with our pumpkin actually on it. It's huge. So we'll go ahead and hit S to scale it down, move it uh, over this direction and move it around there. Hit R, X, and 90 to rotate on the 90, on 90 degrees on the X axis. We'll scale it up a little bit and push it into the pumpkin's face. And we'll move it up and we'll position it where we want it to be. We want to, make, we want to make sure that it's not clipping. So we'll go ahead and make it super long by hitting S, Y. I'll go ahead and select our pumpkin. Make sure we add a modifier of solidify. Solidify will actually give us that inside pumpkin look that we're going for. 0 0.095. 0 0.095 looks pretty good. We'll hit apply to solidify modifier. Go back to solid viewport shading. We'll select our pumpkin once again. Hit boolean. Add a boolean modifier. This modifier will be with the object plane, but we'll go ahead and, and rename this to uh, Jack Face. Yeah, because it's Jack Lantern's face. All right. I want to go ahead and add in a decimate. Where is that? Right there. Decimate uh, feature above our Boolean. We can delete the Boolean for now, to be honest with you. And we can move this away for the time being. Uh, I want to go ahead and save this because it's a good time to save before you use the decimate uh, modifier because it will uh, crash on you. I want to go ahead and hit unsubdivide and I want to change the iterations to blah, 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 maybe uh, we'll do two. Yeah, we'll do two. We'll change the subdivisions to uh, to two. We'll hit apply. That's going to get rid of some of the unnecessary uh, vertices that we had, which is pretty sweet and pretty nice. We'll go ahead and add our uh, face back in. So that's going to go and select that. Hit M. Go back to the first uh, layer. We'll do the same thing once again. We'll add that Boolean modifier back in with the jack face. We'll go to difference. Hit apply. And as you can see, if I move this away, now we have the... Uh, let's move this back to the other layer. Um, you can see now we have the face working properly. I want to go ahead and really quickly, we'll split our view into two by getting rid of both of these panels. And then we'll grab this little triangle and cut it in half. 
change the left side or the right side doesn't really matter to the node editor and we will get rid of that panel as well i'm going to do something pretty special for this pumpkin we'll go ahead and add in a mix shader and hook that up right after the diffuse and then we'll add in a glossy a glossy right there and we'll hook that up into the bottom um and it's looking pretty weird right now but i'll go ahead and add in a uh, a very soft point lamp right above our pumpkin so you can see it a bit easier um that should do the trick Yep, there we go. That looking, that's looking pretty sweet. Um, it's too shiny right now, obviously, and it's the wrong color. We'll change the white to like a yellowish orange color, something like that. And we'll change the roughness up. We'll pull the roughness up. I just want to get a little bit of that shine on the pumpkin, because um, pumpkins do tend to be a little bit more shiny than not. So we can do something like that. Um, I don't want it to be too shiny like plastic. I want to go ahead and add in a musgrave texture onto the roughness of the glossy. Um, so not, it's, it's not glossy everywhere, which would look a little bit better than uh, it does at the current moment. We'll go ahead and do something like that. We'll change the scale of the Musgrave to something bigger. Um, and maybe, well, maybe we'll go smaller. Maybe we'll go smaller. Yeah, we'll go smaller so it looks a bit more splotchy. 